say, speaking of getting outside today, cars, should they stay or should they go? The long-standing debate over whether to pedestrianize Pike Place is back in the spotlight. Fox 13's Lauren Donovan looks at a new study that shows most of the market businesses are open to making it a foot zone. For years now, there's been a push to kick cars out of Pike Place. We're here on a Saturday and look at all the congestion. Check out the lineup of cars. Initially, it only seemed local shoppers were on board with this, but now it appears the vendors want to pedestrianize this place too. It's a working market here. If you do eliminate all those cars, there's a different feel to the market. Cars at Pike Place, love them or hate them. What do you think? I I don't like them. It's not really a place that you think that you need to look both ways. Back in 2021, roughly 80% of Seattle voters polled by the Northwest Progressive Institute supported limiting vehicle traffic to loading and unloading on shopping streets like this one next to Pike Place. Around that same time, Seattle City Council member Andrew Lewis shared he was in favor of it. We've seen the success of cafe streets and some of these other activations and safe streets over the course of the pandemic, and it's been popular. People like it. People like having more space um, to live and to, to recreate, and that's what we can do by uh, uh, closing this particular spot, uh, you know, with the exception, of course, of... Um, uh, you know, deliveries. Lewis's plan lost steam, but a new study from Seattle neighborhood Greenways could give it new footing. Two University of Washington students polled 61 market vendors. Of that lot, only five were adamant on keeping cars around. But I do know that those five people had pretty good reasons. I bet they were at the south end of the market where they sell vegetables and stuff. I asked the owner of this vegetable stand myself. They say, yeah, losing out on cars means losing out on business. I just think it would bring a lot more people if you just open up everything and let people walk. Like they do in Europe. I think get rid of them. I think like cobbled areas are really nice to walk around. This is obviously a big tourist spot where I go to university in the UK. It's, it's very cobbled. We have a pedestrian zone. The executive director of Seattle neighborhood Greenways tells me he was really surprised by the overwhelming support to do this from the vendors. He's hoping that the market can make some foot traffic friendly changes by the holiday season. Reporting at Pike Place Market, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.